Hey guys, welcome to my Christmas clean and decorate video. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you are not ready to decorate, don't worry. There is a ton of cleaning motivation in this video. I filmed for four and a half hours and I somehow got it down to about 40 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, there is a ton of cleaning motivation. I had to get the house in order before I started to decorate for Christmas. I wanted to get a head start on it because one, I always love to decorate early and also we're getting married at the end of the month and leaving for our honeymoon. So I really wanted to get a head start on it, but my house was a complete disaster as it always is. So I had to tackle that before we started decorating. So like I said, there's a ton of cleaning motivation. I want to quickly just say thank you guys so much for 3,400 subscribers. I hit it today and I cannot believe it. I am just in shock and I'm so thankful. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching and commenting and liking. It is incredible. So I hope you guys enjoy it's and let's get right into the video. Cuz I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Last year I thought about how things can come 
place that I can come home to Yes, I am on my way We'll put our differences aside
channel this is our brand new home we've only lived here for about five or six months so this is my first Christmas decorating here and I'm so excited but I also was not sure how all of my decor from our old home was going to fit in this house and guys I really did struggle actually um, just the color schemes and all that it was really hard for me to figure out where to put everything I do like how a lot of it turned out I'm just not obsessed with everything but I think I have a better idea and hopefully I can pick up some things on clearance after Christmas is over to add to our house but I had a lot of fun I decided to lay everything out on the island because I really wanted to see what all I had because I am a clearance shopper so I did buy things at the end of the year I didn't even decorate last year because we were in uh, Brennan's grandparents house so I didn't really know what all I had so I laid it all out even though it was very overwhelming uh, it was the best thing to do just for our situation. So next year, I have a way better idea of where I want to put things and what all I have. So I'm glad that I did it this way, but it did drive me crazy for a while. I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. decorating you guys will see me switch things up I will kind of move things around um, that's just how I decorate in general but especially this year like I said it was really hard for me to really figure out what I wanted to do with everything so I switched some things around but I did show you guys the end results and most of what I decided to do
I was so excited to decorate my daughter's tree for this year. She has not had a tree yet because like I said, we were at my husband's grandparents last year, so we didn't really decorate much. But I got her this ombre pink tree from Walmart. It was $9.97, guys. It's a steal. It's so stinking cute. And I got most of her ornaments from Walmart. But I did have a few from Hobby Lobby and I think Target um, that I got on clearance last year. So I'm not sure if they're available, but I loved decorating her tree. I got the little tutu garlands from Hobby Lobby in case you guys are wondering. And this is just so fun. I just put it on her dresser and I just love having a little tree in the kids' rooms. I think it's just magical and fun and they... You know, Cashton loves to decorate his, so I know one day Kopi will love to decorate with me, but this came out so adorable. I'm all about the pink and just super girly stuff, so I just love how this one turned out. <laughs>
Christmas is on its merry way And for every single child There's a gift on Santa's sleigh The first flake of snow Is said to fall today
But wherever you are, near or afar, outside my door or in the airport bar, I still wish you there'd be a Christmas. I hope it will be all that you dream. I This was the one area in my house that I truly struggled with. I am not happy with it. I did leave it the way that I am showing you guys. Um, the end result that I show you is what it looks like right now, but I don't like these stocking holders. They just don't go with the new stockings that I purchased a couple years ago. Um, we used to have our stockings in the basement of our old home, which the colors were red and then the upstairs was more like neutrals, so they just don't match, and I just need to find some stocking holders that I like, but I can't find any that I love. Stocking holders are so ridiculously priced, which I'm not sure why, but it turned out okay. Besides the stocking holders, I really love the stockings. They are gorgeous. They are from Things Remembered, and I just love them so much. So besides that, I really do love it. And you'll see later in the video, I do add some pillows that are plaid to the couch that I do think sort of tied the plaid stocking holders in a little better. But like I said, not in love with it, but that's okay. I will definitely be changing it at some point. This is another example of me changing things around. I put the Santa sign there instead of the little uh, tree that I had earlier and I found these items that I really wanted to put in the kitchen. So I kind of just switched it up so I show you guys what it ended up looking like at the end result. But I'm sure a lot of you do the same thing. Probably switch around your decor as you're decorating. Same with this bathroom. I could not stop going into this bathroom and changing things. So I ended up putting our little name book in there and just kind of switching it up. And I like it a lot better. I'm not obsessed with the bathroom either, but I do like it a lot better. The tear tray stuff is so cute. I didn't show you guys too much of me decorating the tree because one, the lighting was terrible and three, I felt like it was super boring. You couldn't really tell what I was doing, but I do show just kind of the color scheme and a little bit of the ornaments that we are going with. I decided to do red, white, gold, a little bit of green and kind of like the woodlandy vibe. I don't know. I kind of was mixing ornaments because like I said, this home is so different from our old home. We used to have a tree upstairs that was neutrals and blues and then a tree downstairs that was a real tree and then I would do red, gold, white and then I would add like all of our family ornaments to it so it kind of had like a mixture of all different colors. So I really struggled here. This tree is right behind our couch and then in our living room in the corner will be our real tree that we will probably be getting in a couple weeks and I just don't know what color scheme to go with. These trees are pretty much in the same room. They're just separated by the couch. So if you guys have any ideas, drop them down below. Do you think it's weird to do my neutral blue tree 
in the same room that this red tree is in, or do you guys think I should just go with an entire different color scheme? I love my tiered trays and I am obsessed with tiered tray sets. So here I'm just going to decorate my tiered tray. I really didn't know what all I was going to put on it. So this was kind of experimental. And then I ended up uh, deciding what I wanted and then putting it in the middle of my table. I did have to fix all the items they fell over but I just really wanted to figure out what I wanted to do and what little pieces I wanted to use this cocoa tear tray set is from an Etsy shop I will leave it on the screen check it out she has some really cute tear tray sets and I really love this and it just goes so well in our home so definitely check it out if you're interested and I hope you guys like how it turned out I had so many things that I could have used and I just really wasn't sure what direction to go. And if I think too hard about it, I obsess over every little detail. So I just had to walk away and accept it. And I actually do really like it. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. Winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, families near. We give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares. To the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white You dazzle us all From big to small Warm laughter and white smiles my presents stacked in piles Take me away, Christmas Day
if you guys have been here for a little while, you might remember all of the pillows that were in front of our fireplace. They were all these extra pillows that I didn't want on our couch that came with the couch. They were in front of the fireplace for a while, but now that we have our ottoman, it didn't fit. So we just kind of had it there to basically save my daughter from hitting the fireplace when they were roughhousing. But all the pillows got stuffed in the basement, but I had these covers and I thought I was going to have to buy stuffing and then it dawned on me I have all these extra pillows that I could just use the stuffing that are in those and I'm so glad that I did and the stuffing in these were really nice quality so I was really glad. Uh, it was like this super soft cottony material or something. I'm not really sure exactly what, but it's better than the stuff that you get at like Walmart. So I stuffed these covers and I really love them. I love the plaid. And I'm, like I said, I think it kind of tied in the stocking holders a little bit. Still don't love it, but it really did kind of sort of bring the colors together and kind of bring the red in. Um, at least temporarily until I can figure out what exactly I want to do in the living room. To the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white You dazzle us all From big to small Warm laughter and white smiles my presents stacked in pies Take me away Christmas Day Take me away Christmas touches things I added I hope you guys enjoyed this video I loved doing this video it took me so long <laughs> to film and edit but I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you got some motivation maybe some decoration inspiration even if you're not ready yet hopefully when you are this will help you out so if you didn't already like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season yeah.